Hey there, it's Jeff Salzenstein. I'm here with my doubles partner, Max Roeder. Max, you ready to play some doubles today? Absolutely. So we're not really gonna play doubles, but we're gonna talk about effective doubles communication. Some of you have been calling for doubles tips for so long. I've been hesitant, I've been holding back, but now I'm revealing the truth of effective doubles communication. It's so important to communicate with your doubles partner the right way, and I wanna give you a couple tips today. The first one is to set the right intention. What do I mean by that? Before you come through that gate, or be before you get out of the chair to go out with your doubles partner, as an individual, you have to set the intention of how you wanna be on that court that day. If you don't prepare ahead of time, because preparation is the mother of success, if you don't prepare ahead of time, you might just fly off the handle and yell at your opponent and say, why the heck did you do that? Why did you miss that shot? Or you might not say it to him or her, but you might be thinking it. You really need to set that intention, okay. Today, and this is to yourself, silently. You're not talking, you're not setting the intention, hey, my intention is to do this. You're, you're quietly saying to yourself, okay, I'm gonna be supportive today. I'm gonna really pump up my partner. I'm gonna try to help him or her play better. But this is a personal, internal thing where you're focusing on setting the right intentions. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to do is I want you to ask a lot of questions. I want you to get to know your partner. Max and I are gonna get up and we actually just had an event where a wasp was in between us and we kind of freaked out. So, uh, you know, you never know what's gonna happen in these videos. We avoided the killer wasp. Now we're gonna get up and we're gonna start moving on the court. And so I'm gonna be asking questions. So Max, tell me a little bit like in the deuce court, where do you like to serve? I uh, definitely like to serve out wide, especially because our opponent there has a weaker forehand return, so I feel like you could poach there. Okay, and, and, out, and in the ad court, where do you like to serve? Uh, usually kick out wide or slice up the tee. All right, so I've already asked two questions about where he likes to serve. I'm also going to find out what kind of return he likes to hit. Does he like to stay back on his returns? Does he like to come in? So Max, on your second serve returns, do you like to come in or do you like to stay back? Um, I'll usually come in. Um, it depends. You know, if I really crack one, I'll stay back, but I'd say 80% of the time I'll move in. All right, so the point of all of this is that I'm asking questions. I'm not telling Max, hey, do this, do that. You know, I want you to do this. I, you're going to ask questions to find out how he likes to play, how you can bring your strengths to his strengths. So make sure that you ask a lot of questions. And finally, the other tip that I want to talk about is just being aware of your words. You know, the last thing that you want to do is have your partner miss a shot, and then you say, Max, I can't believe you missed that shot. That's unbelievable. Like, how could you possibly miss that shot? How Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah. So, you know, how do you think your partner is going to feel if you say, I can't believe, or you should do this. You should have gotten your first serve in there, Max. Well, you should have made your return the game before. Yeah, see, so there you go. You're going back and forth and you're really not effectively communicating. So the idea is to focus on, come on, let's do this, let's get this done. Here we go. Here we go, let's do this right now. You know, you really wanna say positive, encouraging things, you wanna pump up your partner, you wanna find ways to communicate so that they're feeling good about their game. I always remember that, you know, if I was in the deuce court, you know, I had a couple good results on the, on the pro tour, when I was in the deuce court returning, I would tell my partner, all right, I'm gonna get you one right here, Max. I'm gonna get you one. Meaning I'm gonna get him a point so that he can have a chance to break serve. Or maybe he's serving and I'm at the net and I'm gonna say, okay, anything near me, I'm gonna get this ball. I've got this. Just throw in a good serve down the tee and I got this. And so you're really taking charge with your language and with your, your body language and how you speak. So take some of those tips with you take them on the court and effectively communicate with your doubles partner and see how much more fun that you're going to have with your tennis. I really hope you received a ton of value from this lesson today so you can go take action on the court as soon as possible. If you want to see more in-depth breakdown of this lesson and many others, make sure to join us inside the Total Tennis Training Inner Circle where you can get cutting edge tennis tips and strategies that can fix your weaknesses and improve your strengths. If you want to be a part of our growing online tennis community and get the best tennis lessons on the planet, go ahead and click the link below and we'll help you go to the next level with your tennis. I'm really excited to help you out and thanks for taking the time to watch this lesson today.